Greetings, everybody! Welcome to the third episode of Indie Composer Reacts. I am Eternal Sushi, and uh, today is uh, the 27th of December, so Christmas has just passed and New Year's around the corner. At this point, I feel like everyone's just eager to go into 2021, and I am too, honestly. I'm just done with this year. It has gone by so quickly, but it has also not moved at all, and it has just been a rough time for many. So. Let's hope that 2021 is going to be better for all of us. Today we're going to be going through a... Uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently. Because, um, well, we're not going to listen to one track. We're going to go through basically the entire soundtrack really quickly. We are going to be doing Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers. The Phantom Strikers? I'm right, because I, I keep saying Persona 5 Strikers, which is not correct. I'm not much of a Atlas fanatic. Um, compared to a lot of other people, it's because I never really had a PlayStation, so I couldn't really play Persona 4 when it came out. I couldn't play Golden, I couldn't play Persona 5. I basically couldn't play any game because Atlas wouldn't port them to the PC. So when Persona 4 Golden came out, I was so happy. I tried it and I loved the game so much. If you like turn-based combat, they do it right. With um, Atlas, I've noticed that they've done a lot of spin-offs. So there's dancing spin-offs, fighting spin-offs, so this one is not really out of left field, but I am interested. I'm interested in hearing, you know, the similarities that this album has compared to, you know, the actual Persona 5 soundtrack. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some remixes here and there, but there's also going to be some original tracks, or maybe some that I don't actually realize is a remix of the original. So I'm really interested in seeing what the soundtrack has, honestly. I feel like it's gonna be similarly styled, and uh, I wanna see what kind of new stuff they come up with especially, though I would welcome a lot of older tracks as well. So the entire thing, at least on YouTube, this video is about 2 hours and 15 minutes long, and there's no way I'm gonna go through all of that, you know, at a normal pace. I'm gonna be picking some of them, and uh, I'm gonna be listening to some of them more than the others, and um, you get to see my live reactions before the game comes out. I think it's not out yet, I think it's out next year. So we're early for once, you know? If I'm not correct, then um, editor just give me a really big cross, like in Jeopardy. Okay, so let's get into it. I am very excited and uh, let's see what they come up with this time. So we're gonna start off with the first track here. Okay. They brought back the organ strings. Ooh. Okay, I like the rhythm here and the melody so far. Okay, the beat goes to a more laid back. Ooh, the bass line is funky, as always. Persona 5 has always been really good at that. Oh, I like the vibe. Oh, oh, oh! The the bass line went do 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 like the uh, persona motif. Oh, this is so good. Okay, I'm not gonna dwell on that too much, but that is a really nice opening track, similar to you know life will change, etc., etc. Do you hear that organ? It's gonna be in the entire soundtrack, I'm pretty sure, like it is in Persona 5. Oh, fuck. Is this like a... Is this like a menu theme? Or like, you know, like a choose your map theme or something? I like this. Oh, I like the drive in the back with the guitar. Whoa, they go hard! Are these all the same people that made, you know, like Koei Tecmo, like um, Dynasty Warriors? Yeah, but this Koei Tecmo, so they tend to, uh, they tend to take a current theme from games and they, they just, you know, add even more shred guitar in there, so, you know. Some people consider that, like, always, you know, a level above the original, but I just feel it's a really nice remix, I suppose. And there's not one that's innately better than the other. Look, this has to be an overworld theme. Well, it says home. 
I could kind of picture it. Yeah, I could kind of picture it, yeah. What do you wish for? Is this a battle theme? It has lyrics, yep. Oh, jazzy chords! Sevenths and ninths. Uh, so basically chords that make normal chords, like a genuine C chord, like jazzier. So just a very simple... Let me, uh, let me open that up for you. So you've got, you know, the typical A minor chord here, right? If you do an A minor chord and you go for, like, a ninth... So... That sounds groovier. You've got a lot of these, so... Even a major chord. You could do these things, so instead of, you know... You've got this. Or this. So that's like a 7th and the ninth. So 7th meaning that 8 is an octave, so it goes from do do. so that's that's a 7th and that's a ninth. It's basically how many up from your, uh, the bass note. Oh! What a glide! You got these strings doing the... Counterpoint. So you've got the vi uh, you've got the violin. Yeah, that's totally a violin. You've got the guitar playing the main melody, and you got the strings coming in to kind of you know one person. Is it like they're communicating with each other? The guitar plays something, strings res uh, responds to it, and um, typical structure. This is. I'm not expecting this. This sounds whimsical almost. Is this a mini game? It sounds like it. Oh! Oh! Blooming villain! Blooming villain! I wonder if they have Keeper of Lust. Okay, so first of all, Blooming Villain there, they added a lot of orchestral work over there as kind of like a build up, and then you kick it in with the. Oh! Oh, this is getting metal territory. Damn, it goes hard! Tokyo Daylight, but more vacation-y. Sunlight, the beach, sorta. Oh, those chords, I love it. Basically every track in Persona 5, by the way, uh, you start off with a minor chord. You always start with a minor chord. It's just because it sounds a little jazzier, funkier, and edgier also. Camping trip? That sounds wholesome. I was not expecting this. I was expecting... a harmonica, maybe. I can't picture this as a camping trip, you know, but... you do you. Ooh, this is full-on jazz! Oh, this is... Okay, this is not... This is not typical Persona 5. There's, it's slightly different. Um, if anything, this is closer to Whims of Fate, actually. So, it's interesting that they have some equivalent tracks in Persona 5 and Persona 5 Scramble. Like, they just have a similar vibe. I guess it makes sense why there are some similarities. Ooh. It's good, don't get me wrong, but... When you have so many organ funk tracks in Persona 5S already, it's hard for this to stand out, unless I listen to it many times. Because there's so many ones up there that are basically similar, right? Camping Night? Okay, this sounds more like camping. But this also sounds a bit more like home, you know? Go to sleep! It's time for bed! Are you getting ambushed? While camping? Because this is next on, you know, the album list. You've got beach, and then you've got this. You're getting ambushed on the beach? I'm not gonna question it. Oh, Keeper of Lust Scramble! Let's do it! 
Yo! Here we go. This is okay. It's different, definitely. I don't know if it's better or worse. I don't want to compare it yet. There's a build up with a kick. It's more electronic. Yo, what the hell? Okay, so they changed the entire rhythm. Normally, it's not like this. They made this kind of like a new disco funk. This is uh, definitely more electronic, but um, not a bad thing. Like, just like whatever you want, right? If you think this one's better, it's better. If you think that one's better, that one's better. But I quite like this. This is suddenly very Japanese. What happened? It doesn't use a pentatonic scale, which is the scale normally used in oriental music. But it's but they use Japanese instruments to make it sound Japanese. Oh, this one's gonna be an emotional track. What happened? Did someone die? Cause how else do you have emotional impact in kind of like a Koei Tecmo Dynasty Warriors type of game? How do you have emotional impact? Okay. Oh. Oh, they use piano this time, eh? Changes things up a little bit. Suddenly it feels a bit grander because you you have a grand piano. But it is better than, let's say, the earlier instruments used. Because it at least stands out. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Not expecting this. Piano part. I like it though, I like this part. Orchestral version of the boss fight, like the boss fight, you got to like a really... Second phase, basically, right? Yeah, it's like a development. This could be the uh, credits theme. It, oh yeah, it definitely sounds like it. They're always leaning back to the organ and more soul laid back sort of tracks for the end there. Lyrics in three seconds, maybe. Nope. I was wrong. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm sure it's more emotional. Well, now it comes in. <laughs> this would. I'm sure this would be more emotional if I for one played the game and two understood Japanese. Five chord. One chord. Six. Two. Five. One. Okay, nice chord progression. I like it. Okay, so that's basically all of it. I might have missed one or two, but some of these are really, really freaking good. It's pretty much what I expected, which is a sort of a variant of Persona 5, right? They have the same instruments, uh, similar instrumentation, similar type of genre, so, you know, funk, jazz. So. It does what it does well, and um, it really recreates Persona 5 without being Persona 5. So, props to them for doing that, and uh, props to Koei Tecmo for making all of that happen as well. It's actually exactly what I thought it's going to be, so what I mean by that is there's going to be some tracks that are more memorable than others, and some tracks that um, <clears throat> are going to kind of just be in the background. That kind of applies to basically every video game, but some more than others. I felt like they could have swapped some instruments for some other ones, just to make it sound a little bit more different. Don't rely on the exact same four, even though you want to go for like a band feel, because if you're into like rock band, you're not going to have a lot of other things, but still want to add more variety. If not through instruments, then at least through the atmosphere or the vibe. So I wish they would, you know, 
uh, reinvent the wheel a tiny bit, like the reinvent the Persona 5 wheel and actually make things slightly more different. But who knows? Maybe people would complain about that. Maybe people would say, that's not Persona 5 music. We want Persona 5 music. So they're like, here you go. So whatever you think, honestly, um, valid if you like it or not. So this was a very casual video where I don't really talk about a lot of the technical aspects of things, but next time I'm going to be talking about something interesting. We're going to get to Pokemon eventually, so I figured, you know, we're going to do that next. So it's going to be a top 10 list of something in Pokemon, and uh, I'm not just going to be explaining, you know, what the top 10 are like most videos. Um, I plan on also explaining why they're top 10, uh, not completely, completely in depth but there's at least some reasons as to why I like these more than others, and maybe you like them too for the same reasons. So I'm going to be giving out basically my top 10 of a certain, I guess, theme type in Pokemon, and uh, I'm going to be telling you why. That's going to be fun. So until then, take care. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, we're already going to be in 2021, so I hope you have a great year. If you want me to review more things, just comment below, give me the track, give me the game. It could be, you know, a lot of things. And uh, just do it. It's not that difficult to comment, and uh, it helps the algorithm. So, I'll see you next time, and uh, stay fresh, everybody.